Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and I am here to show you how to download and troubleshoot any issues with the Arc Dev Kit. Now it's very easy to use. It's pretty simple actually it, and this is going to kind of walk you through everything this is going to be a lead to my new series step by step how to make your own mods and kind of customize them and upload them into steam so step one is pretty easy first off this is how you download it and take care of it now if you don't mind smash that like button leave a comment below for the algorithm and sub to the channel so you can get some more awesome content so first off the dev kit, even though it's kind of frustrating, it does not exist in Steam anymore. You're going to have to open up the Epic Store like you see me right here. So basically, you're going to have to download the player. You can, I mean, obviously, you can see I have it in my library. However, you can go to the store and then you can also type in what you're looking for. So I would just type in Arc. Um, now, essentially, when you type in Arc, you're going to pull up all the different types of menus. You can see the mod kit and then the base game right here. All you got to do is click on the base, uh, the mod kit, not the base game, the mod kit. And it's going to put it into your library. You just have to download it. It is free, but it's an absolutely massive download file. Um, I think mine was 250 gigabytes, so it does take a long time. Now, that being said, once you've downloaded it, it's pretty easy. As long as you have the room for it on your space, that's the easy part. Now, a lot of people have initial because it's such a massive file size, the probability of something going wrong in your library is huge. So this is how you fix the errors that are probably going to come up. So basically, you're going to go over here and then go to verify. Now, verify is going to pull up a screen. And what it's going to do is essentially it's going to say, please wait. And then you can click on your download section. It's going to go through and initialize and basically figure out everything that you have right here. So it's going to show your download, reading and writing. When you're doing when you're basically what you're doing by doing this is you are looking at the original files online, so the original files that are in the store, and it's going to cross compare the files that you have to the ones that are online. So if you're having a lot of issues with your dev kit now, this is going to wipe your stuff. So you want to be very careful about that. Um, at least some of your save files will not save for this. If you've got some save files that you're already in, you should be good. But you can see right here that I'm reading, writing all this kind of stuff. You're going to read pretty much the entire thing to see what's missing. And then it's going to reinstall everything that you need. So for the dev kit, this is what you want to do if you're having any issues. And this is like the solution to that. All right, guys, so we are back. Basically, we have gotten a 98 percent verification at this point. You can see that it does take a very long time. Notice how my game is still reading. Now, that's a good thing. Basically, we're just reading through all the files to see which ones I need to cross check. And that's kind of the step that we're at. Now, the download just means that because it's a 000, nothing has started downloading. So it hasn't found any missing files, essentially, at this point. So that's kind of what we're waiting on right now. Now, the write speed that'll occur if we are actually downloading something or having a missing file right now, it's verifying at 100%. So we're going to find out. So if you do down, if you basically go to this and you verify all your files, you're going to find out that it starts initializing and then kind of going past something. You notice on the bottom side where I can look down here and see that I've got a little bit of red here. And so it probably found something that is not actually functional at this point. So it's going to go ahead back through and replace all those files. And you can see that it's installing the few files that it needs, which is 23.4 megabytes. Um, and that's what it's going to do. All right, so now that we've updated, we should be able to launch our editor right away and basically just click once. If you click more than once, it's going to launch a whole bunch of additional files. You'll notice this is the thing I talked about earlier. I throw this up onto another screen. We should see zero red across the board pretty much when loading this thing up. There might be a couple of warnings. Warnings, again, not a big deal, uh, as long as you're not seeing a bunch of a red, which is basically a negative thing that it can't find something. So it launches up for the first time, and congratulations, you have everything in front of you. Now, that's kind of my first video to show you how to figure everything out. It's going to take a little while this first time. It's going to discover a whole bunch of assets down in this corner. Don't freak out. Everything is going to move stupid slow. The first few times you open this thing, it's going to take forever. So don't think it's broken. It's just going to take a little bit of time. So give it some time to load up and then go from there. So hopefully this helped you out as a quick little tutorial and teach. Out.